Welcome back guys. Today's recipe is short and sweet, but that's how we like it. We're doing dessert today. I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a mango and coconut tapioca pudding. This is a simple and summery dessert with just four ingredients. We're gonna get straight into it. First thing we need to do is prepare the tapioca. So I've got one cup of tapioca pearls and to prepare those, all you need to do is get them into some boiling water and simmer them for around 15 to 20 minutes. You wanna keep stirring them so they don't stick to the bottom and you wanna do that until they turn just translucent and maybe still have just a tiny bit of white left on the inside. Simmer for around 20 minutes or until they're mostly translucent with just a little bit of white left. Then you can turn off the heat, cover the pot with a lid and let it sit there for five to 10 minutes or until all the white has turned clear. After that, pour the tapioca pearls into a sieve and rinse with cold water. Then pour them into a large bowl filled with cold water and allow them to cool down completely. You can keep them in that water until you're ready to use them. So that's the hard part out of the way and it really wasn't that hard. Now I'm gonna move on to the mango and coconut part. I've got three mangoes here, one cup of coconut milk and a third of a cup of condensed milk. So I'm gonna roughly chop two of these mangoes and put them straight into the blender jug along with the coconut milk and the condensed milk. You could also make this dairy free by simply not using the condensed milk. You could use maple syrup instead, or you can also get coconut condensed milk, which is pretty cool as well. With the other mango, I'm just gonna slice that up and use it as fresh garnish on top of the mango pudding. Strain off the tapioca pearls once again and then pour them into a mixing bowl. Then you can pour the mango mix from the blender jug into the mixing bowl with the tapioca and mix them together to combine. This is the perfect dessert to serve a few or many. Today I'm just gonna serve up two portions straight up into these glass jars, which looks really fun. Top them with some fresh mango. And with the rest of the mix, I'm going to pour it into one of these Lavelli fresh vacuum canisters. And that's gonna stay in the fridge for up to four days, keeping it nice and fresh. So now I've got dessert for today, tomorrow, and the next day. These are good to eat straight away, but they're really good when you've chilled them and set them for a couple of hours. So I'm gonna put these ones in the fridge for later. We hope you liked this video today. And if you did, then go ahead and give it a like for us. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already to see more of our Lavelli Life recipes. Give this one a try for yourself at home and let us know what you think of it in the comments section below. And we'll catch you again really soon with another great recipe.